Hi, this is Milan of So Natural Wellness, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about factors that impact metabolism for a sustainable weight loss. So on average, I just want you to know that on average, 90% of women are dissatisfied with their body. And I know that's a huge number just to even think about, but a lot of women feel frustrated because they can't get to their size they want to be in. They can't seem to maintain their weight even when they get to a size that they like. And they're starting to feel frustrated that the clothes that they really love or the clothes they want to wear, they just don't feel good in them. So if that's been your problem, or if you've had that issue, then you will enjoy this video and sit tight. loss is very personal and is very emotional when it comes to women and how we feel about ourselves. And because of this, you know, a lot of women, their self-esteem is being affected. They, you know, go shopping and once you're going shopping, you're feeling really good, you know, it's shopping therapy. But once you get there, you realize the size that you wore, you can't wear them. And you can't wear the clothes you have at home, which is why you're going shopping. But you can't wear the sizes that are put in front of you. And you start blaming everybody. You blame the designers. You blame the manufacturers. Um, so you wonder, whose problem is it? Is it mine? Because it can't be yours. You cannot possibly have gained weight since last season or a couple years back. That can't be possible. So this affects your self-esteem. And... You know, because you want to get into a certain size, you really want your clothes to fit good on you. You want to feel good in your clothes. You want your walkway to be your runway, but you can't because of this frustration. And when you're trying to squeeze on clothes that you thought were once your size, and you now you can't, that affects your self-confidence. That affects how you feel about yourself. And that starts that self-esteem, that low self-esteem or that uh, lack of confidence, it creeps into so many other areas of your life. It starts to creep into your work. It starts to creep into your relationships. And that's not how I want you to feel. So who am I and what authority do I have to speak on a subject such as this? Well, my name is Milan Perry, um, culinary nutrition and wellness coach, and I've spoken spoke with many wo women about their health and wellness. In fact, most of my clients are women who are struggling to fit into their clothes again, who enjoy eating, who enjoy dining, but yet they can't get into the clothes that they really desire. And they want to be able to eat what they love without the guilt of dining out and to be able to lose weight and feel really good in their skin again. So that's who I am. So if you've been following my videos for a while, I've been doing a 30 day series on healthy living 50 and beyond to show you how you can bring more healthy living and sustainable weight loss into your life, how you can stop to struggle, how you can really feel good in your skin again, how you can be more confident as a woman, how you can feel more feminine. That is what I want for you and how you can even get in uh, dine out and Go into your kitchen and create really amazing, tasty food. So back to this video, the number one um, factor that I found impedes metabolism among a lot of women that inhibits them from having sustainable weight loss is not nutrition and it's not supplements. I know that may come as a surprise to you, but it's not those things. I found the biggest problem is that who we are as eaters that is a major issue that in that in, uh, that in fact impacts your metabolism so in this video you're going to really understand these factors and how you affect how they affect your metabolism and how they change you from having this sustainable weight loss so as i mentioned is who we are as eaters and not just who we are as an eater, but is what we think, is what we feel, is what we believe, is our stress levels that are affected by what we eat, is our pleasure, our awareness. All of those things affect how you eat, what you eat, and your presence while you're eating. And that's why I talk a lot about 
mindfulness and eating intuitively because all of that impedes your uh, in fact it affects your metabolism so the end of story of who you are and how you eat that happens day in and day out and it's sometimes a gradual process but on average most women give themselves negative self-talk every single day we're always talking about oh I hate my body oh I don't like this look at these hips you ever do that when you go shopping you know you can't get this gorgeous pencil skirt on you're squeezing in it and you're thinking wait a minute this is my size I've worn this size for years this is my size I just wore this size last year and you're squeezing in it and then as soon as you look down you say oh let me just suck it in so now you're sucking in your stomach now you're trying to tuck in your hips to really squeeze in and tighten your buttocks just so you can squeeze in that skirt but it doesn't work all of that is negative self-talk so you're giving yourself this negative self-talk so that is a part of who you are and all of that affects your metabolism so have you ever noticed that have you noticed that in all of this I never mentioned dieting I didn't even mention exercising I talked more about your mental state your emotional state the psychological person that's really what I've been mostly targeting and featuring in this video because that is who you are and that also plays a role in who you are when you come to uh, when you come to the dinner table so let's talk about one of the elements that I feel it really impacts um, how you eat and what you eat and that's relaxation you know you fall into situations like stress and you know you're having these um, emotions of being fearful um, maybe you're angry maybe you're fearful about losing your your career that you've worked so hard on for so many years uh, maybe you're afraid of losing it to someone much younger than you or getting passed up for that promotion or maybe you're uh, fearful about you know not getting this client that you want maybe you're fearful that your boss won't see your natural talents and your abilities things that you went to school for that you know like the back of your hand maybe it's anger maybe it's angry at um, perhaps you're in a loveless marriage or you're angry at things are not going your way or you're angry at you just lost someone that you love so whatever it is that you're angry about whatever it is that you're feeling stressed about whatever it is you're feeling fearful about your negative self talks that we just mentioned all of these creates this sort of psychological um, factor in the body so now it's time to relax if that's how you've been feeling it's time to relax because when you relax you are able to ease into weight loss because when your body is under a lot of stress there is that fight or flight tendency which creates a domino effect for you to eat more or maybe you won't eat at all because you're under so much stress you can't eat you don't have an appetite but all of that impacts your metabolism so let's talk about the second one um, the second one that I want to talk about is joyful having a joyful spirit just being a joyful person when you're under a lot of anxiety when your body cannot properly relax and what happens is, is it really impedes your digestive system it impedes the way that your body assimilates and processes foods all of this has a really heavy bearing on how your metabolism behaves because that's getting into that fight or flight stage and when you're in that fight or flight stage of uh, of just life your digestion slows down and that's something you don't want so once again relax relax into weight loss the third one being present and if you've been paying really good attention to a lot of my video series and my broadcast you'll notice that I talk a lot about being present in my post I talk a lot about being present being fully present and engaged with eating with dining with life with relationships so you may be thinking it doesn't affect me because I have willpower 
I have enough willpower that I can eat whatever I want to eat or I can abstain from certain foods when I want to. I don't need to have this chocolate cake or this box of cookies or this donut or this bagel or this um, or coffee every day with a mocha frappuccino. I have willpower. Willpower really has nothing to do with it. A lot of people and a lot of women are overeaters. And when you're an overeater, you cannot be present with your food because that affects your metabolism negatively. You're just not there. You are everywhere else, but you're not being present. You're sitting at your desk, you're working. You're not at the dinner table. The only time you're at a dinner table is when you're out, maybe dining out. That's your dinner table. When you're home eating, you're not sitting at a dinner table. And if you work from home as a coach, you're working at your desk, you're working and eating, you're eating at your desk, you're working and eating uh, on your sofa. You're eating in all these other different places, but you're not eating where is designated for you to eat. So the next step, slow down. Slow down. Your food is not going anywhere. There is no reason that you should be rushing and eating at the same time. All of this affects your metabolism. Not being present, not having a joyful spirit, not being relaxed. All of this affects your metabolism. And when you don't slow down, what happens is that you become a fast eater. So if I were to ask you, what type of eater are you? What would you tell me? Are you a fast eater? Are you a moderate eater? Are you a slow eater? Well, when you're um, when you slow down and you're present while you're eating, that allows you to really dive in and really taste the sensations of eating. It allows it allows you to really thoroughly enjoy your food, enjoy the taste, the texture, the feel in your mouth, the flavor the different aromas to really be nourished and the only way you can really feel nourished is to be fully present and slow down when you're eating if you're a woman over 40 if you have passed 50 if you want to have healthy sustainable weight loss if you just want to live healthy beyond 50. I want to invite you to a Chic Women Don't Diet makeover session. It is a consultation where we get an understanding of where are you now and where is that you would like to be. Where is your lifestyle taking you? Is your lifestyle taking you to any of the areas that we just talked about? Is this, um, your journey taking you in the opposite direction? Is your journey taking you in a direction of eating in a way that your body thanks you. Your body shows its gratitude. Now, I won't say that um, if you're going through any problems right now, then of course you should always talk to your doctor about changing your diet and your lifestyle. But the best thing that you can do for yourself right now is to take your health in your own hands. And you should not, if you're taking medication, do not stop taking your medication all at once and say, Milan said to do this and do that. That is between you and the person who um, gave you the pharmaceuticals. But I will say, your health is in your hands. You are the director of your life. The most important thing in life is the most important thing that you put first. And that should be your lifestyle, your life, the priority that you're giving to yourself, the love that you show yourself. If you're affected in any way and you're ready to turn this around, then join me. I look forward to hearing from you. And I'll include the link. Make sure that you click on the link, schedule a time to talk to me so we can figure out what is your st next step. How do you want to remove all of the negativity? How do you want to be more relaxed? How do you want to really be present? How do you want to really enjoy life to the full? So I look forward to speaking to you soon. Until next time, stay beautiful and healthy.